proudly present the co-featured contest of the afternoon, sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation and the Australian National Boxing Federation, IBF Supervisor Ben Keelty. The three judges scoring Samuel Conda, Levi Martinez, and Ray Wheatley. And in the ring in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Ignatius Misalidis. And now, 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Junior Flyweight Championship of the World. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trimmed with white silver, his official weight 53.1 kilograms, 115 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one. 25 victories, including eight wins by knockout, only one defeat with one draw from Kobe, Hyogo, Japan. The challenger, Pyrus Super Pegasus, Hiroshima. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trimmed with white, officially weighing in at 51.7 kilograms, 114 pounds. His professional record, just like his challenger, outstanding, 26 victories, 17 big wins by knockout, only one defeat with one draw from Cavite City, the Vale del Norte, Philippines, the reigning and defending IBF Junior Flyweight Champion of the World, Referee Ignatius Missolini calls the combatants in. Ancajas in red, Kinoshita in the white and silver. Okay. I want you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Okay, understand? Tusk off now and good luck. Rules slightly different for this fight. These are the unified rules of boxing, world championship rules, 10 point must scoring system. There's no standing eight count. There's no three knockdown rule. A body cannot be saved by the bell in any Knock round. Up. Only the referee can stop the fight. Knock and in case of an accidental foul, we go to the scorecards after the fourth round. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan along with Danny Green. Our principals, Kino Shida, the challenger, 25 and 1. He's decked out in the white and silver. In the red trunks, the champ. Jerwin and Cajas. They both look like they're orthodox fighters because they're both southpaws. Interesting. You don't see too many southpaw and southpaw, but this is it for the world title. Generally, mates, for, for, for a cleaner fight, you know, the action's a bit cleaner and it's a bit uh, crisper. Sometimes southpaw and orthodox fighters, they spoil each other. Yeah, they certainly do. These guys both have excellent jabs. Tiro Kinoshita, his family came from Korea. He was brought up in Japan. Holds those hands high, not real busy yet. And Kahas forces the action. Japanese fighters are always in great shape, and of course, Whoa. sneaky stuff by Ankahas as the jab of uh, Kinoshita. Kinoshita just bowling that left hand over when Ankahas come in there, just caught him flush. But as you said earlier, not a big puncher, Kinoshita. Ankahas has 17 KOs and his 26 victories, so he would be the bigger puncher. But Kinoshita, very, very good boxer. You can see Akaha stepping on his front foot, just walking, just throwing a bit of feint now, trying to get Kinoshita to think he's going to do something different than slam home a jab or slam overhand left as he just did then, feinting, tricking, right. trying to balk his opponent. The champ, Manny Pacquiao, watching on as he gets taped up in his uh, dressing room. Not as fast as start as the other fights we've seen, Colonel. The boys have been pretty keen to get into it. These guys are very experienced, just kind of getting into a rhythm, feeling each other out for this first round. Generally, the way when it comes to the title Back, fights. That was a Jeff, lot at stake. That was Jeff Horn you saw. This is first round action. This is scheduled for 12. If you're just joining us from wherever you're watching around the world, it's very warm here. The sun is beating right down, and it's just after noontime here in uh, Brisbane, Australia. They've turned out en masse. Some 50,000 people will be in this arena. Hard right hand that time by Jerwin. 
on Cajas is the champ in the red. This is his second title defense his last fight out January this year he stopped Jose Alfredo Rodriguez to retain his title. This is a huge event in Japan. Japan's such a strong fighting nation too, Colonel, especially in the lighter divisions, they're very strong. A lot That's of champions it. in the weight in the lower weight divisions. How did you, how did you score that? Uh, I gave that to Ankahas. I don't think that uh, Kinoshida uh, was uh, busy enough in that uh, first round. Ankahas landed more and landed heavier, more accurate punches. Judges, by the way, Levi Martinez of New Mexico in the United States, Ray Wheatley from here in Australia, and Samuel Conde. Gusto ko yung job mo win, gusto ko yung job, gusto ko rin straight mo. Ha, job straight. Pwede ganyan, pwede nang chillan si Daniel. Ha? Ayaw pa yung buha? Well, Danny, what's Kinoshita got to do? He's got to turn it up or not, Danny? He's got, he's, he's lacking the power. He's got to step up. He's got to work more than this. He doesn't have a pop, so he's got to lay the punches on him. He's got to touch this guy. He's got to hit him. And continually hit him, because the way, if he sticks at the pace of this, of the, of the first round, he won't be victorious. There's something to be said for these guys going in the full 12 rounds, but uh, Ankahas is staying very, very busy. Nice sneaky left hand on the inside. That's a power shot by Kinoshita. Mm. So while he's not a big puncher, he knows what he's doing in there when the pressure's coming on him from Ankahas. Good jab there by Ankahas. He's got a kid that could double it up too. It's a stiff jab, it's solid. He bounces oh. in and out, he comes in. He lets his arsenal go and then he steps back out gets his room and then resets and comes in again. Meanwhile, Kinoshita trying to counter punch him. Ignatius, the referee, saying, keep him up, lads. You know, if you can get off a stiff jab like Akahas has in his arsenal, it can count like a power hand, it can count like a right hand. Good jab to the body there. Yeah, you know, he gets that downstairs and that'll catch up with There's two more wow. solid body shots, Danny. That was a beautiful uppercut and left rip combination. Very hard to do, especially in the pivot. Takes, takes a lot of courage to do that in there. Comments of Australian Danny Green, world champion. Kahas is, if he stays in this rhythm and Kinoshi doesn't pick it up, he's going to do this comfortably. Uh, he's got a great rhythm going now. I'll tell you that. Ankaz, you see the way he ducked underneath that uh, swirling right hand that came at him? Ankaz is having a terrific right, round now. Little Nick over his right eye. Nick or a bruise, looks like. He's had some, yeah, he's a little, little Nick over his right eye, Colonel, but. <clears throat> it looks like it's kind of beside it, Danny, so it's not as bad as, but up in that lid, at least uh, from what I can see, it's a very bright sun here, and it's kind of hard to see, but we'll be able to see in between rounds. Geez, it'll be very, very warm out there too. This sun's starting to, starting to penetrate. Yeah, now that uh, slit has opened up pretty good now. And it looks like Ignatius uh, Mussolini is going to ask the uh, doctor to come in. I don't think it's serious enough to stop it. At least the doctor's having a look at it. Where's the car? I'm happy. Okay. It's, oh, on it's just side. on the side. Small. Oh. He's got a little slack over the lane, but I'm happy. No worries. Thanks, doctor. Okay. Remember in the previous fights we've shown you the doctor or the referee can stop the fight and world championship fights The referee is the sole arbiter I've never seen one take the advice of the doctor when he says no to continue it, but it can happen. Look at this Geez, both boys just digging hard in there Kahas has the edge in power though Looping left hand by Kahas. Remember for the southpaw that's a power shot. Body works beautiful in there. Oh, it is. It is Danny. Right in the pivot where it's dangerous, where he can get hit. And he's thrown them with, with confidence. When you throw a punch with confidence, you've got balance, means you've got power. So, uh, in cars. 
The dentures have just indicated to us that it was by a punch. So if this fight stopped because of that cut now, it's a, uh, a TKO victory. As opposed to if it was a headbutt, it would be a no contest until after four rounds. But it's not critical that it goes four rounds now. That is if the judges all see Ankaz had like we're quite confident he's won the first two rounds. Wow, beautiful body shot there. As we said before, that was off the lead too. Just, that was with his power hand. Sorry, with his front hand. See that hand? It. See that hand up on the head too, pulling him forward. Another Lennox Lewis move. The legend Lennox Lewis, he had all the good moves. All right, here we go to round number three. We're at Suncor Stadium in Brisbane, Australia, as the crowd continues to come in here. And the doctor has another look after the corner has uh, an opportunity. The doc says, OK. There's a, a big bruise underneath that uh, right eye of uh, Kidoshita as well. Look at that chopping left hand by Ankaz. He's trying to get that hand right on top of that cut again. Because he'd love to get him out of there in this heat. Oh, starting left rip, left hook there. Oh, that was a good shot to the liver. We saw yeah. damage to the liver shot we knew before in the in the previous Mickey Condon fight. Yeah, that liver can really be a punishing blow. He's caught him down there. He wants to get him back upstairs with his left hand. He was right on top of the cut that time with his left hand. Remember for the south ball, the left hand is the power shot. Colonel, I'd rather get hit flush in the face than the liver, without doubt. I would too. I mean, the liver shot just paralyzes you. You can't move. And oftentimes it looks like well, you're going down for no reason because it's like a delayed reaction before the liver shot hits the brain and paralyzes you. Another left hand on top of that uh, right eye of uh, Kinoshita. Kinoshita can't do much with that guy. That guy is in and out. His hands are very, very quick. He's got Kinoshita cut, and he knows it. And there's a lot of, you know, kind of like the Cuban fighters, the Filipino fellas, they move their heads back and forth. There's that crashing left hand. They move their heads back and forth, and they're hard to hit. That's something that Jeff Horn is going to have to deal with against Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Very evasive, this in Cajas. And, and he's, he's accurate. He's a good puncher. His body works for outstanding. It's going to be difficult for Kinoshita to step it up and change the fight because he doesn't really have the power. It's Jeff Horn, as you see down there, getting ready. Not long ago, before the biggest moment of his life. And there's Manny Pacquiao. They're getting uh, their thoughts together now. As Kinoshita tries to battle back and recover from uh, that right eye is really swelling up now. And we're only in the third round in this world championship fight that's scheduled for 12. Kinoshita comes forward. But Akahas is able to counter punch him. He's able to get the jab through. He's able to get the left hand. Oh, look at that. Right jab, right jab, left hand on top of the eye again. Oh, oh, oh. blasted him with the left hand. Uh. Akahas pretty much in command right now. It's very tough for Kinoshita. From Japan, he's tough though as he attacks him as the blood trickles down from that uh, right eye. Joe doesn't just go eye, honey. He goes downstairs and then he, just as I say that, he plants that right hand right on top of the eye of Kinoshita. I don't know because it's so early in the fight and it's such a bad cut how long uh, he can last. He's just, he's almost in cruise control. Just caught him on the shoulder before he even flushed in the face. Very nice shot from Ankahas. And there's that little shot to the body. Beautiful straight left from Ankahas. He's a very accurate puncher. Kinoshit is going to have to pick up his rhythm. He's going to have to pick up the work rate, otherwise, he's just going to slip far behind. 
Well, here we go. This is round number four, scheduled for 12, but Ancaz is in total command. Kinoshita was cut in the second round, and it's kind of a bad cut in that also around the cut, it's very, very puffy, and that, you know, the high cheek bones of the Japanese fighters uh, cause their eyes sometimes if they're hitting a lot to swell up much more. Much oh. more severely. But he's here to fight. Look at this. He's going to dig. He dug right. hard to the body there, Kinoshita. Don't push down on your partner. Nice okay. job by Ignatius, the referee. As soon as those hands were tied up, he was in there to separate the two guys. Look at the hand speed of uh, Ancajas. Man. Ancajas is virtually unmarked. The other guy's face, he looks like he's already been through 10 or 12 rounds. Yeah, his eyes starting to close up. That right eye starting to get badly affected. And you know, we're only at one minute into the round and, and the blood's trickling again, so it must be hard to close that thing up. And right on top of it again is that Ancajas with the left hand. He'll jab him with the right hand and he gets at that eye. I don't think that that eye can hold up the whole fight. We'll, well see. It's good straight left then from, from Ancaz. Considering that Kinoshita is holding his right hand, his lead head down, he's leaving that open for the eye to get damaged even more. He's not really protecting it. He should be trying to move to his right, right hand side to move away from Ancaz's power hand. Sorry, to his left hand side, move away from him. Sliding around to his left as uh, Encajas sets up in front of him. Not giving a lot of head movement. As I say that, he ducks down. But look at the uh, Japanese fighter try to battle back against him. There's plenty of grit in the kid, but he doesn't have the power, and Jordan comes right through. Left hand, right hand downstairs, back upstairs, stiff jab with the right hand. Turns over the left hand on top of that eye again. He got away with that. And finally, Kinoshita lands something on the chin of Agas, but he's in such great shape, he comes right through it. Of course, you know the humidity and the heat that they train in the Philippines, so this is nothing for Agas. It's a walk in the park. Whoa, did Kinoshita load up a left hand power shot, but it sailed over the shoulder of Agas. That was a bomb. Yeah, not known for his knockout punching power, but that would have got certainly in Gaza's attention if he landed that one. The high hands again, Danny, but uh, Gaza's able to come right through anything to the body. It's difficult when you can't punch and you don't have the authority to keep your opponent off, and Gaza and, and knows that. There's the bell. Let's go into Jeff Horn's uh, locker room with uh, Cody K. Jeff, the moment's almost here. How are the nerves? They're pretty good, surprisingly. Um, I've, I've managed to keep the nerves under wraps this whole time. I'm still a little bit excited, especially hearing the crowd out there from back in this dressing room. I haven't been out there yet, but so I'll get a good shock when I walk out. It is quite electric. There's 50-something thousand. How, how do you feel about them screaming your name when you walk out there? I feel great, and I'm feeling confident because we've had some good results out there already for Australia. Hopefully, I can finish it all. Tell me what you need to do in the first three minutes against Manny. I just need to figure out his speed, um, his movement, just trying to get that all under wraps. Jeff, all the best. Go out there and get it, mate. Thank you. All right, boy, he seems calm, doesn't he, Danny? He's cool, mate. He's cool. Biggest moment of his life, about to come up, and he's very calm, very relaxed, very nice to see. Yeah, he's, like, he's such a great kid. I wish him so much success. I know his band, he's a great pal as well, so it's very difficult for me. Two top blokes. Yeah. One superstar and one potential superstar. That's it. Here we go. Round number five. The Colonel Bob Sherwood along with Danny Green, the former champ. We're at Suncor Stadium in Brisbane, Australia. The town has turned out and they've done everything to make a great promotion. Kudos to Dean Lonigan and the fellas with top rank. Jerwin's able to get that left hand through again. That's his power shot for the southpaw. Right back as Kinoshita. There's no quit in Kinoshita. He just doesn't have the power, Danny. And they're trading blows. They're landing blows simultaneously. But it's and Kahas who's having more effect. But you were right. There's there's absolutely no quit in Kinoshita. And man, I've seen a lot of fights over the years. A lot of Japanese fighters. They have just such grit. Well, they're all in such great shape. But he gets clipped pretty hard by that time. Uh, another left hand power shot. It spun the head. But it didn't shift him, meaning that Kinoshita is in great shape. He's got that right hand held high, almost slaps at him that time. He 
faints and, and Kaz isn't afraid of anything because he doesn't feel the power. So he comes right through the jab and does a nice job defensively ducking underneath when Kinoshita goes on the assault. He's not moving his head as much as he was earlier because he's got more confidence. But he dips down when he comes in, Dan, and, and, and throws either the right or left hand. You never know from whence it's coming. And as you said earlier, in both these blokes, the, the depth of talent in these weight divisions, the small weight divisions in the Philippines and in Japan is incredible. So they would have an incredible sparring. They'll do 12 rounds on their ear. No problem. This is a better round for Kino Shida, but the heavy blows are being landed by Ankaha. So while it's a better round, it's not enough to win it. And by the way, that cut that opened up in the second round, they've got it under control, but the right eye is closing right up almost tight. That's definitely going to affect the vision. Yeah, especially his lead eye. You know, it's his front eye. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to prevent him from seeing those power punches coming. Remember, he's of Korean heritage, and they have even higher cheekbones than the Japanese, so, you know, that eye can close right up. Good club in there from Kinoshita. That was a damaging punch. Just on the inside, a little short, sneaky one, but it hurt, you could see. Very tough kid. The punches on is Crispa and Kahas right now. And again, the heat won't affect him as much as it will Kinoshita. He stopped, planted, and he cut that right hand yeah, loose. Yeah, yeah. As Kinoshita, you know, Danny, you said something. They both, when they trade punches, it, it looks great, but Ankahas gets the advantage because of his power. Mm. Yeah, and that's the telling factor for the judges. Well, they're both landing punches, and Kinoshita might be, you know, tallying up some score, but the judges are going to see the more effective punching power from Ankahas, and they're going to take note of it. Yeah, because Kinoshita's really had a good boxing round here in the fifth, but I, I don't think I can give him the round. Because he, in, in the professional boxing, as you well know, Danny, it's about who lands out the most punishment. And oh. still, Ankahas has been doing it, so I yeah. give him the round again. Yeah, he, and he finished strong then. Very, finished very strong with a short couple of cracks inside. I've got to score 50 45. Ray Wheatley, Samuel Conde, and Levi Martinez, the official judges, will give the official rendition. And Danny and I'll give you what we think as we go along the way. Here's the action replay. Bang. Flush to the to the ear. And those shots, mate, on the ear, the temple, the side of the head, they really hurt. Wham, that was flush on the chin, that one. Very nice shot. Just missing with the right uppercut. Matthew Heaton and I, camera crew, doing a great job getting shots for you. Yeah, good action replay, boys. Geez, this heat's it's starting to get hot out here when by the time Pacquiao and Horn get out of here, it's going to be very warm. Again, kind of advantage to Manny. Yeah, he's used to this heat. That's it. Here we go, round number six, scheduled for 12. World IBF Junior Bantamweight Championship, the 115-pound uh, title on the line. And Kahas catches him with an uppercut as uh, Tiru Hinoshita was coming in. Hinoshita ties him up. Asia separates the two, and we're back at it again. Let's see if Ankahas gets more aggressive. There he goes. Cuts loose with about a five-punch combination, bangs him downstairs. Seems like Ankahas wants to try to rough him up a little bit in this round because his corner told him that uh, Kinoshita had a decent fifth round. Ankahas steps up in him. Boy, does he throw that jab technically right, driving off that back foot? Yeah, off that back toe. That's where you get the power for the jab, Colonel. Off that back toe, if you can distribute a oh, good, beautiful lead on the side there. And again, yeah. if you can distribute your power off that back toe, you get all that momentum going forward. That's where you get true pop from. Remember when Danny's saying a rip, that's what we call a hook in other places around the world. Here in Australia and New Zealand, they call that a rip to the body. You got, a, you, got a, you got a hook to the head, then you got a, when, the, when you go to the body, it generally is a rip because you kind of come on a 45 in. You rip it in, you don't hook it around. And that way it penetrates the organs inside your body and has a lot more effect. You don't have to describe it to me, my son. <laughs> I know, I know, but you know what it feels like. I'm sure you've, had, you've worn a few too, Colonel. Jeff Horn looking on. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Back, back, back. 
Carhas just doing what he's doing. Just coast, not coasting, but he's he's comfortable. Boxing better this round, although even in the last round where it looked like Kinoshita was coming on a little bit more. They're both kind of in cruise control right now, Danny. And Kinoshita's work rate's much stronger. Yeah, yep. He's and countering then, nice. He really is, and he's getting much more powerful shots up than Kinoshita's able to do. Oh. In there. Caught him with the left hand power shot, but not right uh, flush, was behind the ear. Uh, tough cookie, I'll tell you. Very tough, Colonel. When things aren't going your way, the way it is for Kino Shida, uh, says, I won't say he doesn't have respect for him, but he has no fear of him. And it makes it very tough for Kino Shida to, to do something. Hard body shot again off the hands. Of Ankaha, closing seconds of this, the sixth round. Nice stiff jab again for Ankaha, and that to me is another Ankaha round. I got a pigeon a shutout, meaning that he's won every round. Very warm early afternoon here at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane, Australia. On Kaha's way out in front, halfway through the scheduled 12-round fight. There was a time when we didn't think that Tito Kinoshita's eye would hold up, but they've done a really nice job in his corner. That's Kiyomi Hope that uh, handles that. Uh, he's done a good job with it. He's going to have trouble seeing how that pretty soon. It's closing up. More success than Kahas has with his left hand. But how it's going to be. All right, so here we go. Round number seven. The Colonel Bob Sheridan, along with Danny Green and our whole staff here in Brisbane. We're so glad that you can be with us. Main events worldwide. Whoa. Big shot landed by Kinoshita. And that time he bounced the head back, Dan. He loaded up big with that one. Oh, good body up inside, and cars. Body works beautiful. Very strong, very compact. A very compact puncher. Colonel doesn't waste much energy when he throws him. He's very effective. The blood begins to trickle again from the right eye of Kinoshita. They've done a nice job in the corner of keeping me in the fight. But as Danny mentioned, as the round began here, round number seven, that that eye, that right eye, is really beginning to close up so instead of a one eye fighter. But he is some kind of top. Oh, look at this. And Kaz tries to mix it up with him, and Kinoshita lands a few blows inside there. Now the blood trickles from the right nostril of Kinoshita. Again, his face is busting up because of the heaviness of the blows of Ankahas. Ankahas a little bit puffy by the right eye, but below it. Yeah, every now and then, Kinoshita is having some success with that left hand. Yeah, he should be throwing more. There. Yeah. Wild with his right hand. How tough is this when you're behind in the fight? He's got to know it. And he's trying to do everything he can because for him, in Japan, this is as big as it comes fighting in the world. Oh! He, got hit he is not going to get up. And it dropped him. It's going to be oh. tough. He caught him to the oh. body real six, hard. It's up to seven, six and seven eight. and eight. He's up at eight and nine. Referee says no more. It's all over. Joan and Kaz has stopped Dino Kino Shida by a technical lockout here in the seventh round. So it Kaz goes the 27 one and one with 18 knockouts. Big win for the kid from the Philippines. Joan and Kaz. He's always close. He what a see. stellar body shot that was. Wow. He'd been working the body the whole fight. That wasn't just one shot. That was the finishing touches on, on that six, seven rounds of damage he'd been doing to his body. Fantastic shot. And it wasn't on the liver side. It was no. on the other side by the spleen. But he really, really punished him. But he had softened up the body throughout the course, as you just said. Yeah, and he but got it when he wasn't look. expecting it. Oh, yeah. Kind of caught him when he wasn't expecting it. Here he goes, and then he's waiting for someone else. Wham! Caught him napping, and all they heard, Colonel. Mate, this guy is as tough as Tick, and he was in pain.
Yeah, the referee just came over and said he, he, you know, he couldn't see out of his eye. It's closed over, poor bloke. So more than the shot, it was that the eye was totally shut, uh, according to Ignatius uh, Misolini, who was a very, very good referee and uh, astute. So not only was the guy beat up and had just been uh, dropped, but the eye was totally closed. Michael Buffer standing by, so let's get all the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, following the knockdown, the challenger is unable to continue. The official time, one minute, 53 seconds, round number seven. The winner by TKO victory, still the IBF junior flyweight champion of the world, Jerwin Pretty Boy. Don't run away, Manny Pacquiao and Jeff Moore.